You are never too old for color. I believe this wholeheartedly. That's why I pulled you guys on the community tab and asked you what color you would like to see me do of eyeshadow and it was overwhelmingly plum and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do this look right here. It is super easy. It might not look like it's super easy, but you guys with a little bit of practice, it is super easy. So I so badly wanted to do this series because I wanted to show that no matter what your age, you can use color. 51 years old and they are going to have to pry my colorful eyeshadows out of my cold dead hands, I swear. I've already got this eye done in the video and we will just be working on this eye so I can give you a little bit more detail on what you need to be doing. I hope that you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and let's get into this Pretty in Plum tutorial. Starting with the eyeshadow primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I just use a very small dot of that. And I'm going to go clear from lash line to eyebrow. And usually I would actually put this up in my eyebrow, but since my eyebrows are done today, we're just going up to the eyebrow line. The other thing that I always make sure that I do is I go clear inside here to the inner corner to make sure that whatever shadow I have grips there. Okay, I'm going to be using the Sephora Makeup Guide Tape and I'm just gonna take a little piece of it. It has the back that comes off very easy. You just peel the strips and then you place it. And what I do is I place this about a quarter inch away from the eye, maybe even a little bit closer, maybe an eighth of an inch. But this little lap right there, or flap right there, I think you guys can see it. That right there is something that I have to work with because, because I don't want it to show a skip in my eyeshadow. So I made sure that I went down there just a little bit below. So I went to the tail of the eyebrow about an eighth of an inch away from the eye. So today we're going to be working with the Bye Bye Birdie palette from ColourPop and the Nubian palette from Juvia's Place. And we're going to start out with this color right here. It's called Nesting and it's a little bit more on the pink side than the peach and we're going to tap our brush off really well. And then I'm going to start in the corner because wherever you first place your eyeshadow, that's where you're going to get the most payoff. And then I'm just going to gently go all the way out there to the tail with this color. So I'm going inner corner to the tail of the eyebrow. And then I'm just going to start to very gently push and stipple up around my eye socket. So I'm just kind of going into where that crease feels like it is and above it a bit. I'm rounding this to kind of fit the shape of my eye and follow kind of the shape of the eyebrow. Since I don't really have an arch in my eyebrow, I'm going to dip into that color again. And you just continue to build this until you feel like you've got it where you need it to be. I am bringing it a little bit towards the inner corner of the eyebrow. Don't raise your eyebrows right now, you guys, because I do that occasionally. And then when I put my eyebrows down and I'm looking straight on, I'm like, uh-oh, there's no shadow where I need it to be. And the reason is, is because what has happened is when you raise your eyebrows, well, there's a lot of room there because I get stretched out. But when you close it down like this, if you have hooded eyes or if you have that loose skin up there, it's not up there. There's not that much skin. So I am just coming just above the crease with the transition color and not raising my eyebrows. Okay, so I think that is built up just enough. I should have told you that this is a Morphe M441. I went over my brushes just a couple of days ago with you guys and in a video. And so I will link that video for you guys so you can see, but this is a fluffy blending brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Luxie 231. This is a small tapered brush. And I'm gonna go over here into this color. Okay, this color right here, um, it has a little, little tiny flecks of sparkle in it. And the thing is, is when I get it on my eyes, those sparkles aren't there anymore. So I'm not worried about that at all. So I'm just going to load that brush up a bit and then I'm going to tap it off and I'm just going to come down below that transition color a bit, starting in the outer corner again. So one thing that I want to make sure I tell you guys about this is that even though I'm starting right down here, closer to the eye, I'm still going to make sure that that color gets pulled almost all the way up to the tail of the eyebrow. And that's what's going to create that little bit of a lift in your, in your downturned eyes or your mature eyes. So I'm going to just take that color and then I'm going to push it all along the crease, 
staying a little bit above the crease if I can. Just little soft motions, no windshield wiper motions at this point. And then I'm gonna take the original brush and I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna push that towards the tail. And I'm just gonna blend those two together really lightly. And then next I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This is from Royal and Langnickel and I'll make sure that I include that one as well. And I'm gonna be mixing these two colors right here. The, this one again has the little bit of um, sparkle on it, but again, it doesn't show up on the eyes. So this color and this color, what I'm gonna go into together, this one is a matte, kind of a plummy fuchsia, and then this one is more of just a plum. All right, so now we've got the third color and we're gonna go in there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down there on the eyelid and I'm just pushing the color right there on the eyelid. I'm not pulling it anywhere else. I'm just gonna push that color and make it really stark right there on about a third of the eyelid in. And hopefully this is easy for you guys to see as I'm building that up a little bit. Now I can go ahead and go in and start to blend it a little bit with this brush. Light touch, really light touch here, you guys. And we're just going to go to the outer tail of the eyebrow again. And then we're going to just lightly bring that over in the crease. See, because there's hardly any um, color left on there, we're working with just a lot, a lot less saturation of color, and that really helps. And I'm not getting any more color because we have plenty of color on there. Just building it up and just kind of doing stippling motions with your brush across. Okay, so take that medium shader brush from Luxie and go back in and we're going to blend that again and we're going to push it up towards the outer part of the eye one more time. And just blending it across and continuing to blend it so that it looks very seamless. Our, okay, so that side, this side, is not quite as deep as this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Nubian palette. I'm gonna take that same brush that I was just working with, the shader brush, and I'm gonna go right here into this color that is a deep plum. And then this color right here, it might look like it's coming across on camera as black, but it has a deep purple in it. And so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of that on my brush as well and mixing the two together. And this is gonna give me um, that plummy color that is a really deep color on the outside of the eye there. So again, we're gonna go in there and we're just going to push the majority of the color right there and then just pull it a little bit across like we did before, only about halfway this time. And really take that color and push it out towards the tail. Okay, at this point I want you to look straight on and look at your eye looks and see if they look even or not. And as I'm looking at mine, it does look pretty good, but I can tell that I can do just a little bit more right here with this brush and bring it across just a little bit higher right there at the outer arch. And then I'm gonna go in again with that medium tapered brush and I'm just gonna make sure everything is completely seamlessly blended. Blending is the key, people. We have to blend, blend, blend. Otherwise, our eye looks just look off. All right, so for my lid, I decided that this time I didn't wanna go with the high metallic or even an, a nice shimmer on there, but I did want to have it super, like a super lighting effect on there, so I decided to go with the Essence Pure Nude, but this is Space Lighter. This isn't the original highlighter, and this has a duochrome effect to it. So I am going to be picking that up on my finger, and I'm gonna be picking up a lot on my finger, and um, as you can see right there, it's very white, but it does have a little bit Bit of a duochrome cast in it that casts towards pink and the reason that I like that is because it's not going to pick up pink it's going to pick up the plum color that we are using so it's going to kind of cast that so here's my finger I'm going to use some spray I'm going to lightly spray that finger and that eyeshadow and that's going to help it stay and it's going to help it pop out a little bit too now I learned this trick very recently and I absolutely love what it does. It helps your eyeshadow to stay on so well and I think it's just a great little tip and trick. Now you might need to kind of build this up a couple of times. I know that I usually have to do two coats when it's a color that is actually not a shimmer or a metallic. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm going clear 
up to the crease in the corner there with my finger and then I'm just patting it across towards the lash line, leaving a little diagonal right there. And this color, if you guys can, I hope you can see it on camera because it's so special in the way that when you turn, you get a little bit of the pink or the little bit of the plum and then a, a whole lot of that bright white color. And I just really like the way that this lays down right here. All right, next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do my waterline. This is from Ardell and this is one of their eyeliners. And I don't remember what this one is called, but I'll find it for you. It's some sort of purple, um, purple, some purpley something. Anyway, I'm gonna put my finger on the tape, pull that eyelid down a little bit, put this right into the lash line. And I'm actually gonna put a couple coats on there. It really does help it to stay a little bit better if you do a couple coats. Once I have that build up to where I want to in the water line, then I'm gonna take it right here. Actually, I'm gonna re remove the tape now. So you have this really pretty stark line right there. And then I'm going to go in just below the water line on the outer part. And I'm gonna come in two thirds of the way, I'm sorry, one third of the way in on the bottom lash line, staying right out there on the outer part. And I built that up a lot with some of the color from the eyeliner. So now I'm just gonna take my ColourPop pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge that line. I'm gonna smudge it over into the eyeshadow right here and connect the two, pulling that out, bringing that line a little bit down because if I don't bring it a little bit down, the little flap of skin right there that you get when you're older is gonna drive me crazy and it's not going to look polished. Okay, so now that I've smudged that liner across, I'm gonna go back into the Nubian palette, Juvia's Place Nubian palette. I'm gonna pick up some of that dark purple on the pencil brush, and then I'm gonna smudge that across the bottom. All the way over. This actually does two things. It helps intensify that bottom line with the color, and then it also helps it stay longer. Okay, now the little tip that I had in my brushes video where I'm gonna take just a little bit of setting powder, I'm gonna put it on a lip brush. It's just a flexible brush. You can use any brush you have, tap it off, and I'm going to very precisely go underneath that corner right there with this powder in order for it to not bleed out. I have watery eyes during the day and so I can get a little bit of bleeding right down there and that's what this powder is going to help with. Now, All right, now I'm going in with a, let's see, this is a Sigma small angle. This is a teeny tiny angle. Back into the uh, Pure Nude Space Light. I'm gonna load that brush like crazy and we're gonna do the inner corner. I really wanna load it because this is a softer color, but I still want that inner corner to kind of pop out. So I can lay it on its side and push it down pull it up towards the other color and then I can do the same thing on the bottom and I need a little bit more there. So I'm gonna just pull that over on the bottom. You're gonna take a flat paddle brush, a flat concealer brush, this is a tiny one. Um, the girls told me that this is from Alamar and I believe you. So <laughs> we're gonna take that and you can go right up in here along the eyebrow if you want to. And it just kind of gives just a little bit of highlight right up there, right up there on the eyebrow. All right, you guys, they look really close to the same. I'm really happy with the way it went. I do have a mascara detailed um, tutorial that I will list for you guys. But what I want you to do, um, and what you'll see when I come back, you can kind of see it on this eye, is I want you to curl your lashes and tight line as much as you possibly can. And that will show that in that tutorial too, but for the sake of time right now, I am going to do this off of camera and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, there is the finished look. If you're wondering, I use the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner, and I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational eye effect or eye essential I think it is on my top lashes and then always on my bottom lashes this is what I go back to it's the benefit they're real I use it just on my bottom lashes so I feel like I can splurge on it because it never fails me and I never ever smudge it. I hope you enjoy this plum look I hope that it's something that you feel like you can recreate super easy if you guys have any questions at all about the color about any of it please let me know please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind that really does help me and I am out for the day everyone take care of yourself I love you guys so very much thank you for being a part of my day and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.